This is a Mercedes-Benz S580, and it has tons of technology in it, including self-driving technology. And today, I'm gonna to be walking you through on how to use that. I'm Aiden, and you're watching God Next. All right, now that we're in the S-Class, let's go over how to use the adaptive cruise control and the self-driving in this car, because it is really nice. Now, unfortunately, it is not as nice as some other brands out there that use eye detection to make sure that you don't have to put your hands on the steering wheel. You still have to do some weight in the steering wheel to get it to stay active. It's about every 20 to 30 seconds you can do that, but it's really cool because this thing can also change lanes for you, which is really nice. So let's get out onto the road here. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is all you're going to want to do is press the on button for the adaptive cruise control which is on the left side of the steering wheel. You press that and then you hit set. Now we're going to set it to let's say 50 miles an hour. And then it basically says, you know, you can take your hands off the wheel and it will steer for you completely, which is nice. Now, if we give it about 20 to 30 seconds of me not touching it at all, you'll see what's gonna happen, which is the most annoying thing in this car. Um, I wish, yep, yeah, there you go. So basically at this point, you just have to kind of tilt the steering wheel just a little bit and then you can do it for you. Now, on top of the fact that this thing will steer itself and drive itself and accelerate for you and everything like that, it will also change lanes for you, which is really cool. Now I'm on a one lane highway right now, so it is not possible to do it. What you can do is all, when it has the arrows pointing away from the steering wheel, all you do is basically activate a lane change doing that and it will using the blind spot monitoring system and all the cameras and sensors around the car it will activate a lane change for you that way you can get around other cars out there let's see now now that we're on a highway with more than you know one lane i'm going to do a lane change demonstration as you can see now it has the arrows above the steering wheel or next to the steering wheel, which means I can initiate a lane change and the car will do it for me. So all I have to do is pick the direction, let's say right in the slow lane, that way I don't hog up traffic. And as you can see, it's actually doing it for me. And it slows down. If, you're, if, if there's traffic on the lane that you're trying to switch to, it'll actually speed up or slow down to basically kind of nudge you into traffic, which is really cool. And it will basically do what a human would do if they were trying to do it. Now I'm gonna initiate a left lane change since we're passing this car right here. Let off the gas and it's gonna do it all by itself, it moves me over. If someone is in my blind spot, as I will demonstrate up here, if someone is in your blind spot, it'll actually wait for them to leave your blind spot before it initiates that lane change, which is really cool. So let me get up to this car up here. Don't mind the speedometer. It's never safe to speed, kids. Oh, see, yep, yep, yep there it goes. All right, so I'm gonna come up to here where this guy's in my blind spot, and he's probably gonna be mad because he's like, why is this guy cutting me off? and he's in my blind spot. Oh, there it goes. And now it's gonna do it. Incredible. Pretty cool that it would do something like that with the lane changing technology. That's actually been around since the S550. To be, and that's the first, first generation uh, pre-refresh W222. So that's been around for a while. It's just cool that now Distronic is like less of an option. It's more like, oh, an S-Class gets Distronic. But yes, it is that easy to set up the self-driving stuff in this car to make sure that you, you don't have to have your hands on the steering wheel and you can really enjoy the S-Class ride without having to focus on driving the car. Now, unfortunately, I don't know if Mercedes is going to be adding eye detection in any time soon like the other brands out there. BMW is now doing it um, and Mercedes has not yet implemented it. So it'll be interesting to see when Mercedes does that. But that is basically how you use the S-Class self-driving features.